These cops lose their mind at a guy for filming in public. Hey guys and welcome back to Audit Rewind. If you're new to my reaction show, please consider subscribing as I try and feature the best and craziest police encounters on the internet. Today we're going to be starting with a clip from El Dope Dog. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to his channel so you guys can all go subscribe and show him some support. Please like my video before we get started. I'm going to pop a link to his channel. This is an audit of his where he's exercising his first amendment. A couple of cops seem to be stopping someone. They're pulling him over. They're doing like a detainment or a traffic stop. And uh, El Dope Dog is just filming everything he can see with his own eyes. So plain view. Let's see what they have to say to him. I'm going to give my opinions and my criticisms based on how the police respond to him. So let's get started. Okay, so the way trespass works is I need a verbal warning first. Now the way the verbal works is I have to step onto his property. Oh really? So you're trespassing my eyes. You're trespassing my eyes. I never stepped on his property. Let me explain again. The way trespass works is if I go into his store, he gives me a verbal. Then I have to leave. If I don't, then it becomes criminal. You understand? I never step foot onto his property. I'm on the public. Can I trespass you from right here on the street? No. He can't trespass me either. I'm in the public. Can't trespass people in the public. I didn't do anything wrong. Really? I don't have to do anything wrong to get trespassed. Great, great. Keep digging yourself in a deeper hole, you idiot. What's your name and badge number? My name is Officer Lee. Badge number is 1K29. 1K29, Lee. Now you. Officer Chris, 127, Chris. Do you have any questions for us or anything? Okay, so apologies for the volume being so low. I think that's kind of my fault. But right now we can see that this auditor is putting the cops in their place. They are trying to tell him that he is somehow interfering with an investigation or a traffic stop and that he might be obstructing. He's replied, basically standing up for his rights, saying, you're talking absolute nonsense, stop lying. And as a result, the cops seem a bit confused as to what to do. They're kind of stood there and they don't know how to react. They don't know whether to arrest him whether to leave him alone or what. Obviously, if they do anything like take any action against him, that will have consequences if they were to arrest him and he has his First Amendment right. So let's take a look at part two of this clip and see what happens next. So far, the auditor is doing a great job. This is by the channel L Dope Dog, link down below to his channel. Here you go, I'm free to stay. Not on this property. Right, right. I never came onto their property. Well, quit talking about me coming onto their property. I'm trespassed from their property. Nope, that's not how it works. You know what? I want a supervisor. Bring a supervisor. Call for one. Call for a supervisor. So that's a no. You're not calling. Thank you. Is your badge? Is your is your camera on? Good. Right. Hello. Howdy. What's up? Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, Ooh, the one that arrested me. Okay, so how can I be trespassed from 
Napa across the street if I never step foot on it? How can I? Yeah, I never tried. I know from where the alley. It's a private the alley. No, I never stepped foot on the on the private property. From their property, not from the public. Right, we can't move you along from there. Right, right. I know this. I was in the alley. I was in the alleyway. It's public too. Did you know that? I do. Okay, good. So how can you trespass me from the alleyway? You guys said you're trespassing me from this business. Yeah. Now, now, in order for me to be trespassed from a public business, I first must step foot on the private property. Yes. Then the owner gives me a verbal to leave. If I do not leave, then it becomes criminal. Okay. I become a criminal. They become a victim, and they call the third party, which is the state. You guys. Now, if you come, you're supposed to ease his feelings and let him know that there's nothing he can do. Right? You guys can't even give me a trespass. No, we can't. Unfortunately, there. Like I said, if you trespass, foot on their property, you are subject Back onto their property. I was never on their property. Yeah. Then he he has the authority. Only he has the authority to trespass me. Give me a verbal. Then I leave. It's not you guys come and. and yeah. If I don't leave his property. Then I go to jail. Then it's criminal. Because they, we get calls from businesses all the time mm -hmm. where they say, hey, we want this person trespassed. From the public say, sidewalk. Did I say a public sidewalk? Has it ever happened to me? Ha has has people ever tried to trespass me from the public? Yeah, yes. You all the fucking time. That's where I videotape you guys. Yeah. Okay, so is it true you're standing back? You're standing on your uh, officer's unlawful order or trespass? Not enough. Yes, it is, because there has to be order in the law, okay? In order for me to be trespassed, I first must step foot onto their property. Can you put me in the law where it's still private? Okay, well, I think we're going to leave. Cool. That's what's next. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to uh, request that uh, the whole criminal citation, okay? Push your body cams. Can I check my side so I can go away, please? we got to get in first. You got to get in first. All right, good. All of these cops got sent packing after trying to deal with a guy who they realized was too clever for them. This man knows exactly what he is doing and he is very, very intelligent. Firstly, we have to remember that what the guy is trying to say to the cops is that he can't simply be trespassed from an area and a private building that perhaps would have to have invitation sure maybe however if the particular area he is in and he is filming on is public or has public access then they're not able to trespass him so right now the cops are trying to do something which doesn't make much sense also if he was to be trespassed from a commercial property then in my opinion they need a justifiable reason to do that otherwise it just seems like they are i don't know kind of picking on him or picking him out and like being nasty so yeah i think that this guy handled the interaction well and i want everyone to go subscribe his channel please oh yeah yeah no yeah. this next video is from the channel national civil rights alliance and oh boy is it pretty crazy you know what I always thought that if you're filming somewhere in public and you're filming say a gas station that the police would never have the audacity to come up to you and to try and say that they're going to arrest you. Well in this, in this particular next video we have just that. This is something where the cops are trying to tell the auditor that they are doing an investigation and as a result they are being detained. Now they are told that if they are to disrupt or leave they will be arrested. So I'm going to take a look at this video. I haven't seen the full story yet. I don't know too much details about what's going on. So I might have made some mistakes, but I'm going to take a look at this clip and give my opinions and like react to the clip. So I'll pop a link down below to National Civil Rights Alliance in my description box. Please go subscribe his channel and show him some support for his First Amendment activism. Let's get started. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. if you understand and you understand constitutional law, you shouldn't even so, be asking. He was he was kind enough to give you his ID because he doesn't know the law. I'll tell you what. Okay. Because we haven't committed a crime. So. No, I'm not it's not the way I think. It's the constitutional okay. law, sir. Okay. Take your constitutional law over there and I'll be right with you. Sir, are we detained? So we're free to leave. I'm are we free to leave or are we being detained? Interview. Are we okay. being detained? Go sit in your vehicle. Is there reason to believe okay. we've committed a crime? We're about to commit a crime. Okay, and I'll be with you in just a minute. Investigation into what? So he said we're not being detained, so we're free to leave. Can you get your ID and let's go? Sir, can you give him his ID if you we're free will to leave? When I'm done. You said we're free to leave. Okay. If you, if you impede my investigation one more time... There's I'm no impeding you your investigation. Do you understand that? Investigation into what, sir? you understand sir? me, what I'm telling you? What investigation? Okay. There's no crime. I'm telling you... There's no when suspect done, crime. When I'm done, I'll get with you, okay? Don't if get all heated. To, I'm a respectful... I've been respectful to, you since you the moment we interacted. Relax, dude. Okay. Relax. I've been respectful okay. with you from the moment we interacted, sir. Are we detained? If we're not detained, I'd like to be free to leave. There's no crime that has been suspected of being committed or in the process of being committed. You have no right to ask for our ID or stop us. I do. You do not. You're violating our constitutional rights. Comes up clear for what? What? What do you comes up clear for what? I get a call for service. Yes, sir. You got a call for service. My job is to come and investigate that call for service. Great. So I respect I that. Okay. And when I come and I find the vehicle and I find the subject that I'll be Subject of what? Listen, listen to me. Of Quit what? Quit interrupting me. Okay, please. I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm you asking are. You, okay? you are asking for our IDs That's illegally. Right. That's right. No, I'm not. You are. I can ask for anybody. In and the we state can of decline. Okay. So if you could give him his ID okay. back, because there's no reasonable oh, yeah. suspicion that we have committed a crime, we're yeah, about to commit a crime, or we're in the process of committing a crime, you can't stop us. As I said, you're in, in city talk now. Okay. You want to sell stuff. Are we free to leave? Yes, you are. All right, see you later. When I watched this video, I was also agreeing with the auditor because it just didn't make any sense how this officer was trying to say that he was investigating the subject of why he was called. Well, hang on. How can you place someone under a detainment when you haven't even figured out what the subject is? Surely to achieve reasonable articulable suspicion or grounds, you would have to know what the subject is in the first place. That's the whole point of conducting an investigation. You don't see someone, arrest them, and then try and figure out how they're guilty. You don't do that. At the same time, maybe he thinks that the guy's gonna run off and he is actually guilty of some serious crime. Now that would be down to the person that called uh, the guy because they might have like lied and said oh they could have weapons or they're harassing people or they're doing something bad or they're stealing gas and then the cop comes with the pretense that oh these are criminals they need to be detained and arrested because they're going to run away so usually when we see these situations we can't blame a hundred percent of the fault on on the cop you know i know a lot of you won't like me saying that but it does come down to the people who call dispatch and they're outright wasting police time they're lying to the dispatcher and how we can address this is by making tough consequences for people who do calls that are fraudulent to the police but also by training the dispatchers better to analyze the situation and to figure out if they actually need to send a unit out because 99 times out of 100 they don't need to send a unit out it's a dude you know these audits we watch it's a guy filming okay there are exceptions and there are other details involved i understand that but the cops are needed in certain areas of society for things that happen and this isn't one of them in my opinion this guy did a good job of standing up for his rights please go subscribe his channel link down below hi up next we have a video by sidewalks 22 he is trying to take a look at this uh, particular tree and he's trying to film some nice places in the neighborhood he is uh, taking a look at some of the buildings here and he comes across some people, I think that there is a church nearby and some people are going to do some worship or something. And he gets confronted by them. 
Now these people, I think, call the police and the police turn up. Now this is very interesting. I like church audits because they tend to give mixed emotions. Some people are quite knowledgeable. Some churchgoers know about the First Amendment and the freedom of press. But also there are a lot of crazy reactions. I've seen a lot of Karens who go to church and they're part of the council and they think they run the whole country. It's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, we have some very interesting reactions here. So I'm going to give my opinion and I'll leave a link down below to Sidewalk22. Go subscribe his channel. Hi. Hi. Where are you recording? Yeah. Huh? What is this? What is this for? What is this for? Okay, can you call cop? Yeah. Do you have cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Oh, take a photo of him. Okay. Why do you take the picture? It's um, where. So the in front of the Roman High School. Thank you, bro. In front of the Roman High School. Doing, guys? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you, sir. Just they have some complaints here. Just to make sure you don't disrupt your business. Here. They have some complaints here. Uh, I called. Hi. They I'm were disrupting my business. Uh, excuse me, can I talk? Sure. Okay. It was just like someone from across the street. Just, he just ran out. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi there. He's just filming. He's on, he's on public property. He can film. That's the rule, sir. He can film. That is the rule, sir. This officer did the right thing, in my opinion, because he recognized the First Amendment of the Constitution and respected Sidewalks 22's rights. At the end of this, the people who were, uh, I don't know if these were the guys in the church or they were just members of the public or citizens, they were very worried why he was filming. They asked him why he was filming. Again, they're allowed to ask him why he's filming. They're allowed to come up to him and talk to him. There's nothing wrong with that. However, they can't stop him from filming. When they called the police, they were trying to stop him filming, in my opinion, because why would you call the police? an emergency service unless you somehow needed action taken. I don't see how they could view a cameraman as a threat to them. He is simply filming and the camera is not a weapon. Well, some people do see it as one, unfortunately. I found this video by Hi Boss Coco. I'll leave a link down below to this channel. Please go and support their work. And uh, I was going to react to what happens here, give my opinions and my criticisms. So this is a video of a lady in a wheelchair. She is being told that she needs to leave because the car park or the parking lot is private property. And uh, they try and say that she dropped some trash. So I don't know exactly what's happened. I was sent this by a subscriber who watches this person's channel or found their video. They wanted me to react to it. So uh, yeah, just to just to let you guys know that I will pop a link down below to Hi Boss Coco in my description box. I'm not 100% sure what the officers are going to do here, whether they're actually going to trespass the person or whether they're going to try and cite them for littering. Again, I haven't seen this video, so it's a totally blind reaction. And uh, let's jump straight into it. Because you're lying? I'm not in, in front of Target. I'm in front of Man's Warehouse. Who is the owner? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get you to tell me. Who is the owner? So what do you want me to do? I'm like right here in front of Men's Warehouse. I'm not in front of Target. I'm not on their property. Right, but you're on the whole strip of the normal one side. And what is the problem? It's against the property rules. I mean, what what is against the property rules? I would say it's not the normal one side. That's why you just dump the trash there. The trash is right here. You're not giving me any information on who he is. No, I'm not obligated to. Yeah, you are. If you're saying somebody's saying I dump trash, who are you referring to? I will look for myself. The yeah. trash is right here, sir. It's right here Correct. on this basket. And it's still the conversation I had with Target and the conversation I 
Target did not call you. I'm not on their property. I'm in front of Men's Warehouse. Men's no, Warehouse is right I'm here. What is? I'm not on Target's property. You're on the strip property. Okay, so what did Target tell you? I'm not on their property. Right, because I got stranded here by paratransit at that university. So why don't... I do not agree with littering. However, what this lady has done is not littering, in my opinion. Having eaten a bar or used something with a wrapper and then putting the wrapper onto something or under a cart or... I don't know. It doesn't look like she's just thrown it on the floor to me. So I think they are just making stuff up at this point. And on top of that, I think they should be helping this lady. Why are they here more interested in citing her up, trespassing her, kicking her off the property? It's a parking lot. They should ask her if she needs help. They should facilitate what she wants to have done. I'm not saying that they should, you know, worship her or give her everything she needs, a million dollars. But there's some element of being human that's needed in this. And they're not really providing that, in my opinion. Well, we're going to watch part two and see if this changes. Hopefully they do change, but something tells me they probably won't. Call them to come give me a ride. It's not mine either. It's not mine either. They left me stranded here. I understand that. The University of Michigan left me stranded here. They would not transport me to the university. Again, like I said, they called us. We're not I'm not nowhere near Target. Like I said, we're not bothering you. We're just out here doing our job. They called and said they want you to trust No, he's department. over there on the phone with them, on the phone with these messages. So I'm like, look, I'm stranded. I came here on Amtrak to go onto that university campus. Yeah. They refused to transport me. I got stranded here. So, so um, still, like I said, they, they want you to trespass. It For what? I didn't I, do a damn thing. I'm not nowhere near them. Erica. I couldn't tell you why, um, but they don't want you on property. So what would have happened is we'll just fill out a form. You don't have to worry about charges or anything. Nope. Nobody's going to jail, but we just have to fill out a form that say they want to do trespass on the property. We'll trespass you from the property. Again, it's just, it's just the protocol we have to take. But you're not going to jail, nothing to be in the system or anything like that. They trespass wheelchair people that's nowhere near their property. That's the target thing. I, I really? Again, like, that's, that's what they wanted is private property. So we'll just fill out this form, but you won't have to go to court or anything. It's just documentation that you're a trespass. Whatever, dude. I'm ready to go. All right. So we got the paramedics on the way. That's fine. Come I'll talk to them. And what you need? Them. A lot of these big stores like Walmart, Target, in the UK, you've got like Tesco, Sainsbury's. There are some big, big brands that usually have parking lots connected to their stores, obviously for their customers. And what I found is that these stores and these corporations are very, very sensitive about what goes on in their parking lots. Why? Because usually when bad things happen, they are held liable. There have been a lot of cases of instances where bad things happen in the store's parking lot and the people have sued the store or the corporation and actually won. So I guess it's their responsibility to keep the safety, maintain and manage their parking lots, keep them clean, keep the road surface well paved. And so they get very kind of sensitive about people being there, whether it's just leaving the car park or joining back in. There are people that really, really don't like it. Not to mention one of the other things is people dinging we call it in the UK, dinging. So just knocking into people's cars, causing dents and scratches. Very, very common occurrence, almost daily in most parking lots in these stores. But again, the lady's not doing any of that. So in this situation, they should be helping her uh, rather than facilitating a trespass. So I, I don't agree with it and I actually agree with her. This channel is called Hi Boss Coco. I'll leave a link down below to it. Please go subscribe and show them some support. And uh, yeah, guys, this is the end of today's reaction show. Please subscribe to my channel as well if you enjoy watching my reactions of these audits and leave a like on today's video to show your support. I'll catch you all in tomorrow's video.